Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the first couple of days of grinding for a great one red deer. And the very first animal we're going to take out is this very big looking level 2 roebuck. Now he did have an estimate where he could actually potentially make diamond as a level 2 so I made sure to shoot him with the 243. And he did actually make diamond at 81.90, which was a complete surprise to me. I knew that Roe Deer could make diamond at level 2, I've seen them posted, but I'd never actually shot one myself. So this was a really, really cool little find. And I kind of have been picking off Roe Deer, Wild Boar, Mouflon, Ibex, sort of opportunistically, if they are stood where I'm going to be going to pick up a red stag anyway, just to get an extra respawn for something, just to make the grind a little bit more fun and a little bit more interesting, seeing as I'd like some respawns for those animals anyway. Pretty pleased with that shot, double lung and heart with the 243, just as we were losing the spotting outline, and really pleased I actually made this, the shot on that guy, considering he did actually make diamond. Now, on a different run, but in the very same area, I also came across this guy. That is a 9 legendary red deer. With that bottom estimate of 250, I was pretty hopeful this guy would actually make it. Now, this particular rack for red deer can troll. I have been trolled by it a couple of times. But as I said, with that bottom estimate of 250, when 251 is diamond, I was pretty hopeful this guy would actually make it. And as you can see, managed to get a really nice vital hit on him there with the M1, and he doesn't go too far before he actually collapses. Now this guy actually landed pretty nicely, so I was thinking about trying to take some screenshots of him, seeing as they do just look so impressive when they're on the ground. But unfortunately the bush kind of was in the way, but you can see that is still an impressive looking red deer. So getting a nice background for the harvest screen there, and he is a diamond at 254.40. So a little bit over the diamond requirement, and actually one of the bigger red deer I've had with this particular rack style. So that was a really cool one to find. And it's been nice seeing some legendary red deer actually pop up. It gives me the, the feeling that I'm doing something right with the grind, and it's always really, really encouraging. And speaking of encouraging sights, this was the site that greeted me at another one of my need zone spots. That is a bigger rack 9 legendary red deer running off with a really, really good estimate, 255 minimum. So he's a guaranteed diamond and that also tells me that he is the bigger rack style of the big rack. As I've mentioned in a previous video, there's sort of two styles to the big rack. One scores low 250s, one scores 260s, 270s. And this is definitely the bigger version of that big rack. And my gosh, what an impressive looking animal. That estimate goes up the, all the way up to 301, which I, you rarely see a red deer break 270. So I was hoping that this guy could be a really good size one considering his estimate went that high. But yeah, what an impressive looking animal. I absolutely am really loving grinding red deer, just purely because of this. I love seeing the giant racks of these diamonds. And as I said, it's really encouraging seeing the diamonds pop up and it's just so awesome. Like, look at how awesome that guy looks. That is an absolute giant. And it was pretty cool that he actually ended up coming in so close before he noticed me. And I was very cautious with taking this shot, similarly to how I was on the previous one, because I have been having some issues with the M1. I have now switched over to the 303, but at this point I was still using the M1. And we'll talk about why I've switched over sort of later in this video, as you, will, you guys will probably understand why. But that is a beast of a stag, and I was just waiting for him to give me some kind of shot where I was pretty confident he wasn't going to turn. And as he carried on walking towards me there, managed to put a nice vital shot into his chest, and he didn't go very far before he actually expired. And as I mentioned, these guys just look so impressive once you've actually downed them. The size of those antlers is absolutely insane. And seeing as this guy also landed pretty nicely, I did think about trying to get some screenshots. Unfortunately, he was kind of in the shadows and you had the trees behind him, which were too light in my opinion. And I didn't think it would actually end up looking that good. But it is always nice to see both of these huge antlers above the ground. That is a really, really awesome looking beast. And as I said, I love grinding these guys just because they just look awesome. One of my favourite species in the entire game. 
but he is actually, I believe, my biggest time and drag day ever at 266.70. That is a monster diamond. Really, really big. I would still love to get one that breaks 270, but 266.7 is a very, very big red stag, and I really cannot complain. Honestly, he's going to look awesome somewhere in the lodge, and just what a beast. Getting to watch him walk in like that is always like a thrill. I love seeing these big red deer. What an absolute beauty. And he does actually weigh 238.02 kilos, so just under 2 kilos below the max weight. That's still a really, really, really good stag, and again, was a very encouraging sight that gives me the idea that I'm doing the right thing with how I'm actually grinding these guys. And you can see this is definitely the bigger rack style that I was talking about. That is a, just a gorgeous looking stag. But now moving on to another nine legendary red deer. This one is not quite as cool as the previous two, as that is a guaranteed troll red deer. This rack never can make diamond. You can see it mostly on mythicals. I have been shooting a lot of mythical red deer that have had this particular rack. And it is a kind of a shame when you see a legendary that has this rack because as I said, you know that it has no chance at actually reaching diamond. So that's why I decided to take a longer shot on this guy with the M1. And I really wasn't sure if I'd aimed in the right place at all, but he seemed to be going down pretty quickly. And I have been enjoying trying to take some long longer shots on animals like this. And this still is a very impressive looking red deer. Even though he cannot be a diamond, that's still a very, very big stag. 239.10. And seeing, again, seeing the nine legendary is always a really, really nice thing. Still an absolutely beautiful looking stag. And one that will be really good for respawns. Now moving back to roe deer for the final time in this video, I actually ended up spawning a level 3 at one of these lakes that I'd just been shooting a few roe deer at every time I came here. And this guy is a wonky fellow and he actually looked pretty huge. And with that estimate I wasn't sure he was actually even going to make diamond, but picking him up he is the very top of his estimate at 83.60. And as I said he's very wonky, but very cool looking with it because his one side actually has four points there's a very very small fourth point there which is just really cool i don't think i've ever had that particular antler style on a roebuck and you don't see a whole lot of diamond row deer anyway so i'm always happy to take them because again they can fit on those smaller plaques and they are definitely one of the cooler animals that can do so now moving on to the main portion of this video and what you guys will have all clicked on it because of the title and because of the thumbnail for. This was the whole reason I started recording was because I spotted this level 5 mouflon. Now this was actually the second level 5 mouflon that I'd seen on this particular day. The first one had been actually quite a bad troll but this guy had a pretty good estimate of 169 to 192 and he looked pretty solid so I was kind of hoping this guy would actually make it. I'd also shot a mythical stag not too far from it, you can see he really wasn't very far where he landed. But picking this mouflon up, and unfortunately this guy was also a troll at 176. Now, I wouldn't normally include a troll animal and a mythical stag in a video, however it was because of these two particular animals that I was recording for what you guys are about to see. So I was still recording and I walked back down to the, the water here to look across the lake and just to check that there was no other red stags because I always double check every area I go to that, you know, me moving around the other side of the lake hasn't made one spawn that my tent was too close to or hasn't, you know, one hasn't turned up on the other side of the lake because of wolves that have pushed it out of the brush or anything like that. And as I was spotting around, I saw something led dead. My heart cracked. I honestly, I just felt so sad because I knew what I was looking at. I knew what that, that fur type was. That is the spotted, the fabled spotted uh, Great One Red Deer fur. And my heart, I just, I felt so, so deflated and so defeated. And I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I could see this stag just led dead over there. Like, I know that it it was something that was happening, 
and I knew that it was a, a risk that I could potentially find a dead one when I was grinding. I knew that that was a thing. So I went into grinding for a Great One Red Deer, completely aware that this could happen. And you can see as we're moving around the lake here, I actually can get an even better view of it. I'm really lucky, in a way, that I even spotted this guy. Because if I hadn't, it would have despawned and I would never have known it was here. If I hadn't done that quick scan around the lake before I had actually fast travelled, who knows what would have happened. Probably would never have found this because it was one of the last runs I was going to do this day. And yeah, like I said, it would have despawned, I would never have found it. So <laughs> forgive there the slight edit as I was actually trying to run around over here in this brush and actually find it because he was very well hidden in the grass. But finally I did actually manage to locate him. And yeah, getting closer to him, you can finally see that I will be able to actually confirm trophy. And it was even the rack that I was particularly hoping to get for my Great One Red Deer. And I just stood and stared at it because I was just like, oh, this is just, it felt like a gut punch seeing the animal that you are so desperate to get. Because I am, I am absolutely desperate to try and get one of these guys on film with me shooting it to share with you guys and also just to have the experience for myself. That's something I really, really want. And um, yeah, seeing this guy led dead was kind of heartbreaking when I've been putting all this work in. I'm about 500-ish kills in at this point, maybe even getting closer to 600 or 700. And yeah, this, I was just like, I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe that maybe this is what was supposed to be my great one and it has spawned in dead. However, Casey um, Kill Clinton, who actually got a live one, which was absolutely incredible to watch and big congratulations to him, um, said that he doesn't think that these are meant to be like actual great ones, that it's just come some kind of like bug that's spawning them in when it's not like supposed to be even a live great one, that it's just a weird bug dropping like a great one carcass in. Which, it does kind of make sense, and I really, really hope that that's the case, because otherwise, you know, this would be a much sadder, sadder moment than it even already was. But, of course, I had to get some pictures, some screenshots, and honestly, I'm so glad that that Mouflon was there. If that level 5 Mouflon hadn't been there, I wouldn't have hit record, and I wouldn't have been recording when I actually saw this guy. So, let's pick him up, and you can see he is... A fabled spotted level 10 red deer. His weight was 254.38 kgs and he would have been a 264.90 scoring stag. But unfortunately, because the game doesn't register this as having been hit in the vitals, it only gets the gold medal. And it also doesn't um, show like the antlers on the head. because It's like, almost like in multiplayer if you pick up something that someone else has shot, you'll sometimes see like the antlers or horns on the ground. And it's almost like that, but you can see obviously no one shot this. This is in my single player and this is very much not a shot stag. This is just a spawned in dead stag. Now something really interesting I noticed uh, while staring at this harvest screen this morning was that the shot info, the weapon, the ammo, the distance, everything like that, is actually from the mythical stag I picked up. So if you look at the uh, the mythical stag shot info, it's that shot info, but on this screen. And obviously I didn't shoot this guy. You saw what happened. I literally turned around and he was there dead. So unfortunate, really, really unfortunate that I've actually got one of these bug ones. But in a way, it is going to be sort of part of the history of the Great Ones and especially the Red Deer Great Ones. So he is being taxed. He is going into the lodge and we will go and take a look at him because I am going to keep it. Like, I found this. I found it on my map whilst I was grinding for one. I'm keeping him. He's absolutely beautiful. And yes, he doesn't have that medal, but it's not my fault that he doesn't have that medal. It's not like I messed him up or anything. So as far as I'm concerned, that's going in my lodge and I'm going to keep it because like I said, I didn't mess it up. So it's not like I need to, it's not like I have to feel bad because he has a gold medal as opposed to having the great one medal. It was just, it's a very, very sad thing. And at this point last night, I was like, do I even 
continue grinding because what if I just get another one that's dead that spawned? But then, as I mentioned, Casey kind of said that he doesn't think that these are actually supposed to be live great ones and it's not like you're being screwed out of a great one like you were when the Whitetails were bugged and they were spawning as level fours and fives. And honestly, I'm like I said, I'm really hoping that's the case. And he could very well be right, seeing as there's been a few stags actually reported at that particular lake. So who knows what's going on with these guys at the minute, honestly. But I found one. This is a great one, Red Deer. I found one. And I am one of the few people who has actually got one, whether it's dead or alive. So it's a very, very cool thing to actually have found. Um, it's not a trophy in the sense that I have actually killed it, but it's still a trophy in the sense that it was part of this whole grind. And he is absolutely stunning. I have to say it again, the Red Deer Great Ones, in my mind, are my favourite great one in the game now. That is just, just so gorgeous. And I have continued my grind. I will continue grinding. I'm determined to get one of these, like, alive and do, you know, a really cool video on taking it down and showing you guys. I am so determined to do it. And, yeah, this, in a way, it, as, as sad as it is, is also an encouragement because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this guy in my trophy lodge, probably where those two moose were in the entrance, and have him looking across to the actual one, if I can actually manage to get one. Because it is an if, um, if I can manage to get one, a live one to spawn. There's no guarantee you ever do, but if I can get a live one to spawn, I'll put him opposite it, so you'll have them together in the lodge, kind of like two brothers of this grind. And maybe, maybe I'll end up grinding for more. It depends on how everything goes. I think probably if I do get lucky enough to get a live one anytime soon that I would probably then wait until they've put out a patch before grinding out for any more. But I desperately want to try and get a live one while these guys are still new and fresh to the game. But I am I am I am grateful, very grateful that I at least got to see one while these were so new. Like this is still a very cool thing to have found and it's in my head, I'm just going to think that the wolves on Quattro killed it or something like that. And it can be sort of just a, a memory of what happened during this grind. But that is basically going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. We will continue with the, with the grind, as I mentioned, and I will keep putting out videos about that. Um, and hopefully we will eventually manage to spawn a live one that I can take down for you guys on film. Thank you so, so much for watching. And yeah, thank you for so much for all your support, guys. It's always so appreciated and you are all awesome. Thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video.